Hello, welcome back to my kitchen and today I'm going to make my grandmother's favorite recipe. It's my mom's favorite recipe too. When I go back to my parents house, my mother makes this recipe specially for my husband. My husband and my dad, they just love it. And guess what? My husband and my dad, they completely finish the dish. Nothing is left. Not even the neck part. And I'm sure you'll also love it. For this murgh musallam dish, we need fried onions, poppy seeds, almonds, coconuts, and salt, coriander powder, chili powder, green cardamom, cumin seeds, cloves, and yogurt. So this is my happy chicken. It's dancing. Why? Because I'm going to marinate it with papita, garlic, and salt. So here it goes. Just rub it. This is fresh garlic. Turn it over. I'm going to salt it on both the sides. And this will now rest in the fridge. Next step, in my big pan here, I'm going to toast coconut, almonds and my poppy seeds. We are going to lightly toast it. We are going to do the same thing for chili pepper and coriander. I'm going to grind all the toasted almonds and coconut and poppy seed. So here is my favorite pressure cooker. I have heated five, I am heating five tablespoons of canola oil. To that I am going to add cloves, green cardamom and pinch of cumin seed. Now I am going to lower the heat and add the chicken and watch it sizzle. Oh, it smells so good. The fresh garlic when it hit the oil, beautiful. So let's turn it. To this, I'm going to add a teaspoon of minced ginger. I have lowered the heat again and I'm going to add rest of the ingredients now. In goes the yogurt. Oh, it smells delicious. We need to put some masala in the cavity so it gets all tenderized and delicious. So now I'm going to close the lid and cook it. I'm going to put a little bit of water. We'll cook it for 5 minutes and then we'll check it. Look at my chicken. It has, I have to cook it a little bit more. So I'm going to close the lid and I'm just going to give it one pressure and turn off the heat. So here's the final product, Murgh Musallam. It is yummy, delicious. I cooked down the gravy so it's really thick. It's really easy and it is so delicious. And my husband is totally going to love it. I made french fries for him. So it's a feast day for us. Thank you so much for watching my videos. And for all my recipes and ingredients, please go to shebazrecipe.com. Thank you once again. Bye.